Most Kiwis aren't aware that the largest rural fire service in the country is in fact the Department of Conservation. Their skills are highly sought after both here and overseas and Richard McNamara or Mac is going to tell us all about it. The department is the largest rural fire authority in the country. The department manages roughly a third of New Zealand's land area and as such we're the fire authority for that area and all staff are involved in some manner in firefighting. We have people working at, uh, at office level, admin level, uh, mapping, planning uh, and then we have people like this that do the actual on the ground stuff but it's just a normal part of the department's work. Firefighting is not just a dock role. It's a community role, particularly in these small rural areas. Everybody's involved from the local fire service through to the district council. We don't have people sitting on the ground ready to go. Uh, we don't have aircraft sitting, sitting waiting to uh, respond to the to a possibility of a fire. They're, they're commercial aircraft. These aircraft are engaged in tourist activities. The biggest um, obstacle is to get everybody going at the same time, and it does take time. It usually takes three quarters of an hour to, for a machine to get prepped ready to fire. with a number of crews to Australia and, and uh, the United States of America. We've got to attach the monsoon bucket that carries the water to the fire to the aircraft and that's done by this hook arrangement underneath. We also need some controlling mechanism to allow the hydraulic ram at the bottom of the bucket up and to allow the six or seven hundred litres of water out of the bucket and that's done through this compressor unit here and out through the hoses. Very simple, um, we can hook it up in a matter of about five minutes or so and it changes the tourist helicopter into a working machine. Normally uh, if we're right beside a lake as we are today we'd get the pilot to dip out of the lake dropping the bucket into the lake but of course we don't often have that and we, we're relying on small streams then we have to rely on a pumping mechanism. So this is a standard Wajax pump nick. Normally this thing would be used for firefighting but today we're using it to fill the monsoon buckets and to give it a little bit more grunt we have a thing called a Type B ejector that's sitting in the water there that um, allows it to pump more volume of water into the bucket and it usually takes somewhere between a minute to two minutes to fill six or seven hundred litres of water into the bucket. They can collapse down so we can put them in the machine and, and get them to the fire site quickly and for the type of fires that we have normally on, on rangeland they're a, good, they're a good option for us. We could get 80 to 100 fills in a day out of these things. Um, and normally, normally uh, we'd get probably 30 to 40 uh, in a fuel cycle for the aircraft. So he's, he's got enough fuel on board for about two hours. 